Hey guys, today I'm gonna to try something different. If you don't like it, don't even bother commenting because I probably will never do this again. Do you remember those safes that I opened in a garage? Well, they contained some single action armies. I don't know anything about single action, or I, I know a little bit about single action armies. Uh, those of you who know a lot are going to be either helpful or critical. I would rather you were helpful. These are uh, 11 of the single action armies. We'll get rid of the grass. These are the single action armies that came out of the safe. I priced these uh, in, according to the wishes of the former owner. And so what we'll do is go through each one of these. If you're interested, they will have prices on them. Um, I will tell you what I know about them, but if you can tell me more. If you know somebody who collects single action armies, they're likely not going to my website or my YouTube uh, channel because I don't, I don't do videos on these. So if you know somebody to collect these, forward this video to them. They'll give me feedback on some of it. My goal is to sell them, help the family out, uh, at least uh, help them sell all of these. So let's go through them. Uh, if we look at this first row, uh, it's actually to my left, your right. Uh, the, these first several are the longer barreled. This is about seven and a half inches from the edge of the cylinder up to the muzzle. Let's start down here first. This gun has almost no finish. You do see the US marked. I know that's a big deal. Almost no finish and these grips look too good to be true. So I'm gonna assume that the grips uh, are replacement or reproduction. Ah, this is the one. <laughs> This is the most interesting of all. Uh, this says E Company, 7th Cavalry. Well, that's Custer's uh, regiment, uh, at, and it was at Little Bighorn. So my guess is that was put there to embellish the gun. And this does look old, but the more I look at it, the more I realize right there, um, it's not even made by Colt. This was made in Italy. It is a replica of... Um, a, a, a gun from the 7th Cavalry. So uh, that, that hurts the value quite a bit, and therefore all of these markings were fake. But you know what? I know the German markings, and I would have picked that up, but I didn't pick that up right away until I examined a little bit more. And this is a dead giveaway made in Italy. So this is a replica, but a good conversation piece. 45 caliber. I think most of these are 45 caliber. Uh, this one is not U.S. marked. It does have the... Um, the Colt inscription, Hartford, Connecticut, USA. Uh, it has the longer barrel. These are the way the grips should look. They have the right amount of wear that matches the gun. So this is just a, ni a nice example of a commercial single action army from the late 1800s. You can see a little bit of varnish there uh, worn off. Maybe somebody revarnished it and it wore off. Here's the uh, serial number. And I believe that is matching. Okay, this is not 45 caliber. This is an earlier gun. Um, I would think like the 1860s. I believe it's 36 caliber. I could be wrong. Uh, you do see the brass here, and it is matching numbers. Uh, we do have a, a we do have this priced, and again, this is a, according to the wishes of the family. Um, and these might be bargains, and they may not be. But you'll take a look and decide for yourself. You do, can see an inscription on the cylinder. Um, I should mention that all of these that I checked, the timing is working properly. The action is tight. Let's go back and do this one. You get four clicks. A action is tight. And including this one made in Italy. Timing is good, action is tight. So then uh, I did this one a little bit earlier. Again, I believe that's a commercial um, single action army uh, made in the mid 1800s. Uh, here's the next one. It does have the black plastic grips. It does say 45 Colt, so it's 45 caliber, longer barrel. I don't see US marking, uh, meaning it was not issued to the military. It has a K proof here. I know what K date means in in the German uh, Luger department, but it does have matching parts from what I can see. We do have a price on this. You can see some fire blue here and here, um, and you can see some case hardening here. Uh, if that's original, this is a lot more finish than these usually have. And as I've mentioned before, the action for four clicks. 
it's tight. One, two, three, four clicks I counted. So uh, this seems to be working well. I did check all of these. Uh, I get the comment a lot that I should have checked them all. I don't do that on camera, but every one of these was checked uh, at least twice to make sure that they're not loaded. Let's go to the next one now. I see right away this is US marked. It's the shorter barrel, it must be 45 caliber. See some case hardening here. These grips have the right amount of wear. Uh, they do have um, the uh, initials of the inspector, RAC, I believe, RAC here and here. I don't see any cartouche here. I see maybe a little line there, but oh, there's a cartouche and a date. Actually, that's pretty cool. That's worn, but there is the cartouche and the date. It does have the inspector. This is a, this is a nice find. I'm sure it'll be a little bit more than some of the other ones. 45 caliber, it is mismatched. So what I know about these is these are considered an artillery model and they're almost always, I believe. I'm, I, I'm not gonna say always, I'm gonna say almost always they're mismatched, but this is a US government artillery issued to the uh, military. And again, this would be the late 1800s action. Four clicks, tight, four clicks, nice and tight. I think this is a correct gun, but again, if you send it to somebody who knows these, I love your respectful comments if we're wrong. We'll try to pass along your feedback to whoever might buy these guns. My goal is to sell all of them as quickly as possible. That's the American way, right? Okay, this one is similar to the one I just showed you. It has US. It is in 45 caliber. The finish is a little less than the previous one. I don't see initials here, and I don't see a cartouche here. I'm gonna check the action next, but the finish you can see, and it does have the Colt logo here. Not logo, but the legend, and same thing here, Colt, written across the top. This is a little different style. Uh, is it mismatched? Yes, this is also mismatched. I can barely read that. I think I see a four, f 495. Um, so it's mismatched, so I believe it's an artillery model. And again, it is U.S. marks. It was issued to the U.S. military in the late 1800s. It's going to have four clicks. Four clicks. And the action is tight. It works well. Every one of these... Uh, works well, and that's what the family said. He was, uh, the collector was a stickler about getting these all tuned up, so to speak, so that they work properly and able to be fired. Let's jump down here. Um, each one of these is slightly different. This one shows a good amount of wear. It is 45 caliber, um, but this one has WTP. Now, I know I should know what that means, but I don't. So if you want to help us out, that should be an easy one for a cold collector. Um, this looks all original because it has almost no finish. I've already mentioned U.S., uh, not U.S. marked. WTP here. WTP here. I assume that's an inspector's um, initials, but I could be wrong. These look like replacements because it has a pretty strong cartouche, pretty clear. And over here it's dated and it says 1880. And I, I'm sure it's, it's late, eight, uh, late 1800s, but I believe these are reproduction grips. Uh, they fit very nicely. I know there's a cottage industry of making replacement grips for these, but it is, um, well, I don't know the significance, but somebody will comment and thank you for your help. Uh, the, uh, again, four clicks. There you go, four clicks. Uh, action is tight and would fire well. Uh, next, so this one you can see the difference in the grips. Again, this one looks like the grip should look. Plenty of wear and plenty of wear here, even some uh, corrosion. You see some spotting. I'm used to seeing that on some German pistols that were not well cared for. U.S. marked. I'm going to bet this is an artillery example. And sure enough, mismatched. So it is an artillery example. Here is RAC at least on here, not on here. I don't see the cartouche. 
Oh, I do see the, the remnants of a line here. So that, that's what they usually look like. They get worn off, but you'll see remnants of the cartouche. So this looks like an all original example, and they tend to bring a little more money. Uh, here's a serial number here on the cylinder. And you see the Colt, this is pretty clear. You see the Colt uh, logo here. And again, 45 caliber. Did I do the clicks? Definitely four, and this one's a little, very tight. That's, that comes back. Four clicks, very tight. Next, we got a nickel plated one. I have no idea if this is original nickel. This does look like it was uh, varnished or revarnished. So this may have, I don't, I don't know. There's plenty of corrosion on that. Uh, it does have the Colt logo. You know what, this has a longer barrel. Should have been in this pile over here. Has the longer barrel, which I think was we said was seven and a half inches. Not US marked. Matching, matching, matching. Uh, so this is a nickel plated 45 caliber. Let's see the other side. Here's a serial number. No, is it? Yeah, I see 490 right there. 490 right there. So cylinder matches as well and corrosion here. Let's check out the clicks. Four clicks for sure. Nice and tight. Okay, this is the nicest of the bunch. If it hasn't been touched up, I, I wouldn't know for sure. I just know that it looks a lot better than any of the other ones. It is US marked. Beautiful bluing with case hardening. This is beautiful bluing with a little bit of wear here. Um, we see that it is mismatched. There's also an RAC right there. Mismatched, mismatched, RAC, RAC. These grips uh, look original and this says 1903 and there's a cartouche. So it's a little bit later than obviously the late 1800s, but they do have the inspector mark. This is a beautiful gun. I like it a lot. I, uh, there is the coat logo and I'm sure I'm gonna get four clicks. Four clicks, four clicks. Nice, very tight. Uh, action is all good. And again, like all the others, it uh, seems like a very nice single action army. Here's the last one, the most unique piece. Uh, now this would have gone to an army base and used for training purposes. It is US marked. Uh, these are replacement, I'm sure, because this is really deep. Uh, but this is a cutaway. I, am, I have cutaways for German pistols, cutaway Luger, cutaway Mauser, cutaway PP and PPK. This is the first time I've ever seen a cutaway single action army. Issued to the military, I'm sure it was used for demonstration, training, etc. to show this is how your gun works. Serial numbers have been scrubbed. Uh, maybe it was issued and then sent back to be used as training. I, I don't know the history of these cutaways. I've never seen one before. I'm sure somebody will be intrigued. It does look like there's inspection mark here. But again, I don't know that it would have ever been, I, I might see an RAC there, but I don't know that it would have been issued unless it was issued, recalled, and then uh, kind of stripped for cutaway purposes. Because I don't know why they would issue to the US Army if it was in this condition. Here's the other side. You can see right here with this top piece missing, that's just so that you could, I wouldn't want to shoot this for many reasons, but um, here's the action. This, this is probably the most important part to watch. This has to do with, you know, the four clicks. Pretty cool, huh? There's two levers in there. There's also a lever right here. I have no idea how all well this works, but I'm gonna put, I'm gonna drop the hammer. We're gonna do that again. Four clicks, and that's what it does. This is 1001, which would make sense for a uh, training uh, cutaway that it would, instead of number one, it's 1001. Uh, anyway, I, I think this is all original issued to the Army. This is replacement, but it's a very cool gun. Nothing I've ever seen before at auction or for sale. I, I certainly, uh, this is not something that I would buy on auction, 
but I think somebody out there, again, if you forward this to somebody who collects these, they're liable to wet themselves. I don't know. Let's do that one more time just because it's super cool. You can also watch down here and then up here. Let's do it both ways. Oh, see that little lever pops out. Let's do that again. Watch the lever down here. And then the lever up here. I'm just going to do this all night long. There is a hole here and a, uh, a cutout here. This is a giant spring, uh, which is attached to the, to the hammer. Uh, you can't really see that move at all, and plus I, I kind of cover it up. But, oh yeah, this one you can see it move. That bar, the, it's a it's big spring, and that's a very strong spring that has to do with the hammer. And this hole, not sure why it's there, because if you watch that, I don't see anything happening. Randy, did you get that shot? Let's try that. I didn't see anything move. Very cool cutaway. I'm sure very, very rare. So very unusual content for us, something, a format we've never tried before. But if you haven't seen the video of the safes, you can check the link below and you can watch that video of us opening up these safes. And these are some of the content. So we're just showing it to you. Uh, obviously, if I made some mistakes, please uh, let us know and read the comments because I'm sure they're helpful.